I'll be there when your hair turns gray. I'll see you through the sun and the rain. When I'm deaf and you're going blind. When we're buying teeth to help us smile. <laughs> Even if I lose my mind, I'll love you till I'm 99. As happens in life, we are here today due to a series of fortunate events that brought Gracie and Ryan together. It started seven years ago in spring of 2016, Gracie's decision to take a chance and live on an island where she had never been and where she didn't know anyone. The sequence of circumstances have led them to the day they met, Gracie's first day at Straight Work. Both Sydney and I recall the many, many text messages that we received from Gracie about the cute, tall, tan barback at the restaurant she was hosting at, this very one we're at tonight. My first impression of Ryan was, holy crap, Gracie's living in a Nicholas Sparks novel. She got to know him, she discovered he was funny and flirty, and he must have had horrible breath because he was constantly asking her for Altoids. <laughs> Ryan's first impression of Gracie was, and I quote, stunned by her beauty. He felt compelled to talk to her and build a relationship, which as the food runner meant going out of his way to find her at the hostess stand as much as possible, which in his fly approach meant asking her for many Altoids. <laughs> This marked the beginning of what was a summer romance straight out of an Ellen Hildebrand book. By bringing us all here together tonight to celebrate the wedding tomorrow, you are announcing to us that you have already found in each other everything that you need to be happy in life. Gracie knows that she has a way to brighten up a room simply just by being there. It's impossible to describe exactly how special it is to be around Gracie, but you just want more of it. You just make life better. It's really cool to be your cousin, but even cooler to be your friend. Where's Maggie? Maggie is our wedding planner. She did an awesome job. She gave me some advice. Uh, before I came, I'm like, I got, Don't cry. I got, yeah, I got. <laughs> yeah, just pucker your butt cheeks and you won't, and they hold back the tears. Yeah. I'm trying it now, it's working, I think. I spent my entire career as a marketer. I know a little bit about brands, and I'm going to talk about Gracie as a brand, because I think she's a hell of a strong brand with several differentiating characteristics. The first one that comes to mind is authenticity. Gracie is 100% authentic. She knows who she is. She never tries to be anyone or anything else. And your confidence is always shown up in the clothes you wear and your sense of style. Gracie is fun and fun to be around. Gracie, your smile lights up a room. You're sunny and bright. There's a reason I called you sunshine when you were younger. Perfect. Or if you were a color, you'd be yellow. And I don't think anyone would argue with that. I visited Ryan years back when we were still in school and he was working here on the island over the summer. Ryan had just recently met Gracie while they were working together at the Straight Wharf. And I overheard him talking to a friend of ours about this quote, really cute girl. <laughs> when I inquired, he said, I don't know, man. It's just something about her. Fast forward all these years later, and here we are. My heart is so... Answer that advice. 
My heart is so full watching the two of you take the next step in your lives together. Oh, look. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> They're gonna keep coming, so. <laughs> Gracie, after almost five years of dating, I knew that there was no one else I could ever love more. I love you. <laughs> I love the way you challenged me to be better. You know me better than anyone. You know about my strengths, my weaknesses, and you still chose me. While I know early on I wanted you to be the one, the day I left the island that summer, I wrote in my journal that I knew you were the one. <laughs> While the summer couldn't last forever, I knew that spending a lifetime with you would allow us to feel all the laughs, joy, and peace that was so hard to leave behind every single day. Gracie, Ryan, your love for each other is electric. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me by the state of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. The truth is that your love not only shapes the journey you'll embark on as husband and wife, but it also touches and has touched the lives of everyone fortunate enough to know you. I have not told Ryan this. I've always considered you to be the best of us, the best at being straightforward, the best keeping a level head. Dancer and Jane, I know you're proud to call him your son and know that we're proud to call him our son in the He's balanced Gracie with his easygoing nature and matched her with his confidence and comfort in any situation. Ryan and Gracie, never forget that I love you both. And while I can't promise to be here for the rest of your lives, I will promise to love you for the rest of mine. Oh my God, you're my husband! <laughs> May both of your stories continue to be filled with kindness, adventure, laughter, and the boundless love that I've seen in both of you since the beginning. To Ryan and Gracie.